the text one and x2 be independent and identically distributed random variables with uniform distribution between 0 and 1 y is the minimum of x1 x2 z is the maximum what's the probability of y being greater than or equal to some value y given that z is less than or equal to some value z for any y z between 0 and 1 what's the correlation between y and z so let's try and visualize this first we have two random variables x1 and x2 uniformly distributed so we can show them on two axes here x1 along this side x2 along this side between 0 and 1 we are given that z is a random variable which is the maximum of x1 and x2 and z is less than equal to some value z between 0 and 1 so we show z on both of these axes as a point between 0 and 1 The probability that z less than or equal to z would be the area of this square, which would be z square. Similarly, we also show y along both of these axes here. Now, the probability that y is greater than or equal to y and z less than or equal to z would be this yellow area over here. And we had to find what's the probability of y being greater than or equal to y given that z is less than or equal to z. So this would be probability that y is greater than or equal to y and z less than or equal to z divided by the probability that z is le less than or equal to z. So as we've just seen the probability that y greater than or equal to y and z less than or equal to z is the yellow area over here. And the probability that z is less than or equal to z is z square. So we have this probability z minus y square divided by z square so this is the answer to the first part of the question probability of y being greater than or equal to y given that z less than or equal to z is z minus y whole square divided by z square provided that y is less than z because if y exceeds z the uh, common area would be zero so the probability would be zero the second part of the question we have to find what's the correlation between y and z so we can write the correlations as the covariance divided by the product of the standard deviations and we know that the covariance is equal to the expected value of the product minus expected value of y times expected value of z and the standard deviation is the square root of variance variance can also be written in terms of the expectation as ex expected value of y square minus expected value of y whole square so now we have to find all of these expectations and plug in the value to find the correlation and to find the expectation we need to find the pdf of the distributions so that's what we'll do first a common approach to find the pdf is to first find the cdf of the distribution and differentiate it to find the pdf we know that the cdf of uniform distribution between 0 and 1 is given by this fx equal to x minus a over b minus a where x is between a and b in our question a and b are 0 and 1 respectively so if you plug in a as 0 and b as 1 we will get fx is equal to x for x between 0 and 1 and fx equal to 1 for x greater than 1 now we have to find what's the pdf of y and z where y is the minimum of x1 and x2 and z is the maximum of x1 x2 but let's find it for a general case of n random variables and then in the end we'll put n equal to 2 to find the values for our question the cdf is defined as the probability that the random variable is less than or equal to x now since we're solving for a general case the z is the maximum of the n uniform random variables so we replace zn with maximum of x1 x2 till xn is less than or equal to n if the maximum of x1 x2 up till n is less than or equal to n it means that each of x1 x2 is less than or equal to n so we replace maximum x1 x2 with x1 is less than or equal to n and x2 less than or equal to n up till xn is less than or equal to n and each of these random variables are independent so we can write this as probably x1 less than or equal to n times probably x2 less than or equal to n up till probably xn less than or equal to n now this is the CDF 
which is fx equal to x as we just saw so we can write each of this as x so the product becomes x to the power n so now we have the cdf x to the power n we can differentiate it with respect to x to get the pdf which becomes n times x to the power n minus 1 and using the def definition of expected value x times f of x dx and we integrate it from 0 to 1 we get the expected value of z n equal to n over n plus 1 using the exact same approach we can find the pdf and cdf of y which turn out to be 1 minus 1 minus x to the power n and the pdf is n times 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 and in the same manner we find the expected value of y which is the integral of x f of x dx from 0 to 1 this turns out to be 1 over n plus 1 in our question we have two random variables that is uh, n is equal to 2 so we can substitute n is equal to in these expected values to get the expected value of our random variables so expected value of z terms is turns out to be 2 by 3 and y is 1 by 3 similarly we put n is equal to 2 in the pdf functions which we just calculated so the pdf of y is 2 times 1 minus x and pdf of z is 2x now we can calculate the expected value of y square x square f of x dx and then integrate it from 0 to 1 this gives us the expected value of y square equal to 1 by 6 and the expected value of z square x square f of x dx integrated from 0 to 1 this gives us 2 by 4 so now we have expected value of y and we have expected value of y square expected value of z and expected value of z square so we can calculate the variance of y and z using this formula expected value of y square minus expected value of y whole square and expected value of uh, z square minus ex expected value of z whole square both of these turn out to be 1 by 18 and in case you're wondering if it's a coincidence that both of these variances are equal it's not the variance uh, being equal that this will hold true for all n now we need to find what's the expected value of y z for this we'll need the uh, joint pdf of y and z so we'll follow the same approach first we'll find the cdf and then differentiate it find the pdf so the cdf of y z is probably that y is less than or equal to y intersection z is less than or equal to z so i can write this probability that y is less than or equal to y intersection z less than or equal to z as probability z less than or equal to z minus probability y is greater than y intersection z less than or equal to z if you recall this initial figure which we had the area which we are talking about for the joint pdf would be the area of this blue region that's because from the total area z square we have to subtract the area where y is exceeding y which is this yellow square so that would be z square minus z minus y whole square so we now have the joint cdf of y and z equal to z square minus z minus y whole square we can now differentiate it with respect to y and z to get the pdf of joint pdf of y and z differentiating this cdf with respect to y and z we get the pdf equal to 2 we put this pdf into the expectation formula and then integrate it from uh, 0 to z and then 0 to 1 there would be two limits there's a typo here sorry about that we get the expected value equal to 1 by 4 so now we have all the required expected values uh, in this expression to find the correlation we put in all the values and we get the final answer 
of the correlation between y and z equal to 1 by 2 and this is the answer to the second part of the question.